what's up guys welcome to my channel so as you can probably tell from the thumbnail i went shopping again we already know in a previous video we talked about the fact that i clearly have a shopping issue um only this time it's escalated because this time i decided that it wasn't going to be at a marshall's or ross at a tj maxx but rather that i was going to go to sephora in lush and buy things that i don't need but just had to have in the moment um so this giant bag is filled with makeup and also with stuff that i got from lush i wanted to show you guys what i got and hopefully if i share it with you then maybe i won't feel so guilty about the fact that i spent all of my money <laughs> i figured we'd go ahead and start with our lush bag they had a bunch of like halloween stuff and i got excited so yeah, okay, so this little box I got, I of course died when I saw it. I knew that I had to have it. Um, it has this little cat and look, there's a little tail on the back. And then over here, this is a witch that looks like she's flashing you. So we love a good um, scandalous witch. There's a witch here and there's a kitten here, which we know I bought it for the kitten. <laughs> I got this bewitched package turn bath time into spooktacular experience um so these are all the things that come in the actual package i'll show you guys what this looks like on the inside i'm kind of shocked that lush is using packing peanuts because it was my understanding these are not environment friendly but maybe they're more friendly than bubble wrap i don't know anyways there's freaking dust everywhere so the first thing that I'm gonna pull out of here is this guy right here this appears to be a bath bomb let's look and see who he is so this is Lord of Misrule bath bomb mmm it says revel in the spicy earthy blend of patchouli and black pepper oil and a secret wine colored center so I think you guys can see kind of in this like a uh, little specks of wine color that's what we're gonna get in the middle. So this is really cute. It smells really great, of course. <laughs> so there's that guy. Then we got, oh, he's in a little package. Okay, this guy, he is so freaking cute. I don't know if you can see or if there's a glare, um, but this is going to be our sparkly pumpkin bubble bar. So I already have one that's really, oh no. Me touching it is messing it up. I'm not gonna take it out of the package, but basically it's just like a little pumpkin that's covered in gold sparkles. And I have the gold rush bar, I think is what it is. It's like a little drop and it has um, all that on it already. So I was like, hi, yes, I would like another, please. Then we have this guy and it's a little ghost. And this is just a bar of soap. So <gasps> cute, I love it. So this is a ghost in the dark soap. Mmm, it has cocoa butter and lemongrass, and that smells so freaking good. And I'm gonna put that in our spare bathroom because yum. And then this guy is the whole reason I even bought any of this, just because I'm insane like that. This, <laughs> so cute, it looks like my kitten. This is a bewitched bubble bar. Mm-hmm. Yep, and it should have mysterious waters and a fruity smell, which it's so cute that I don't even care, and I literally don't even want to break it. But it's going to have to happen, and yeah, obsessed. Okay, so anyways, those are the things that came in that. I'm really excited about them. My hands smell amazing now. So that was what was in my little bewitched box. And then I also got two extra things because I have a shopping problem. So I got, oh my God. So this is like the coolest freaking thing ever. I don't actually know what it's called, but basically it's just like, I don't know. You just like rub it on your skin. It's like a, uh, an oil or a lotion or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm putting a lot on my hand so you can see it. Oh my God. It's like, Amazing. So look at that. Hi. 
It's like a body illuminator, basically. Like, hello. So anyways, it is literally so beautiful and it just has like this perfect golden bronzy sheen and I'm obsessed with it. And I bought this. Um, if you're close to me, you'll know that I have an obsession with eyeballs. I don't know why, um, I just do. I love them. This is very different than the normal eyeball that I'm obsessed with, but equally as cool, equally as fun and hi, it's an eyeball. So I obviously had to buy that as well. Halloween is like the best time for me as a person because I love things that are spooky. I love witches. I love eyes. I love black cats. Obviously I own one. Um, and yeah, so I just, this is like the best time for me. Halloween is the time that I kind of oops, really flourish and everything feels like it was made for me. So that's what I bought at Lush. Um, I know it doesn't feel like a lot, but you know, it's really pricey there and I am poor. Let's go ahead and bust into this giant bag of Sephora goodies. A couple of things that I did buy that I did want to show you guys right off the bat that I was really excited about is they are starting to have their holiday collection kits there. Very exciting. If you know somebody that loves makeup, like me, then you can go to Sephora and you can buy these things for them as a gift and it's actually a lot cheaper than buying them a ton of separate things. And they're really pretty great quality from good brands, that kind of situation. So the first one that I got is going to be from Tarte and it looks like this. It has all of the cute little lights on it. It's definitely a Christmas themed collection. And these are all going to be liquid lipsticks and it is a $100 retail value. As much as I wish that I had bought this for somebody else, I didn't, I bought it for myself. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not the best person you've ever known, but these are the five liquid lips that come in this package. We have a very red. We have two pretty nude colors that I really like. We have a deep color right here that's more of like um, a purpley burgundy almost. Yeah, like a, well, more like a wine color, not purple, more wine. Um. And then this one is more of like a deeper nude mauve kind of situation. So anyways, I'm really excited about these. The next one that I got, I was also very excited about, and this is from Smashbox. And this is an always on liquid lip set. And it has three travel size mattes and three travel size metallics. So obviously there's a difference here. The Tarte one has full size lip products. There's five of them. These are going to be the minis from Smashbox and these are gonna be the six travel size. They told me that this was a better deal so maybe it was cheaper. These are beautiful. Like, oh my gosh, stunning. And the packaging, can we just talk about this little hippie moment? I love that. So probably I would have to say that the metallics are what intrigued me the most with this package. This red, hello. Oh, that's humongous. I was not expecting that. Interesting. I wasn't expecting that at all. Whoa, this is like the most perfect holiday red. Hello, please wear me to a Christmas party red that I have ever seen. And it's called Man Eater. I'm really excited about these, probably more so than these, even though this red in here is like really cute too. I don't know what's going on. All of a sudden, like a bright blue based red. I'm like, hi, let's be friends, even though I've never felt that way. Then also this one right here is more of like a bronzy, metallic -y gold moment. Very interested in that as well. And then to go with that great little holiday lip set that you're gonna buy someone else and not yourself, is this Smashbox Contour and Spotlight Palette. So this is three matte contour bronze and highlight shades and six complimentary spotlight highlighters. This giant thing costs as much as five of these, so okay. And it says this is $105 value. So let's open her up. <gasps> This is everything. <laughs> I love this so much, oh my God. Whoa, 
This whole entire top, I look so crazy right now. This whole entire top thing is a mirror. That is bananas. Okay, so here we go. So here we have all of the contour and highlights. I would like to just swatch one of these because what the flub? So off the bat, doesn't feel amazing, doesn't feel very creamy. Mm, well, patch, patch. This is not really the hand to be swatching these on because I just put that shiny amazingness on there. Miley! I'm calling my dog because she's... I really think she's about to be in heat and I do not want to put on my bed. So the deeper shades come off prettier and nicer. Do, 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 do. So yeah, these are kind of what my fingers look like. Um, I did a horrible job swatching them per use. So I would have to say overall, the color I don't like is this, oh, there's shade names on the back. There's shade names on the back, okay. So the one I do not like is Crank It Up Rose Gold. I do not think that it is uh, very pigmented. Right, is that the one? Yes. Blow a Fuse Pearl over here, wait. Are they reverse? No. I don't know. Hopefully not. Blow of Use Pearl I like. Crank It Up Champs I like. Crank It Up Gold I like. Um, I think this one, Crank It Up Champs, I like the best. That's the top one closest to the red. It just appears to be the most suitable for my skin tone. All the others are a little bit light. Um, but I'm excited to see how the bronzer performs and I still am obsessed with this. Those are the three holiday collections that I got in the theme of bundles. I also got this Tatcha bundle. So this one has the water cream in it and then the deep cleanse. I have bought this in the past before and I love it. Um, obviously the water cream I love and I try to use as often as possible, but also I am poor. So the biggest size I've ever owned is that size right there. Um, yeah, because the regular size is like $60 and I can for whatever reason justify spending almost $400 on all of this, but I can't justify spending $60 on a moisturizer. I just can't. So I bought the both of these as a little bundle package for maybe $20, maybe. Anyways, I also really like the deep cleanse and I was hoping to find them in a package like this. This is how I bought them before. It lasted me a long time and I really enjoy them. The next thing that I bought is just something that I needed. I needed more CC cream from it. I ran out. I love this in the summer, especially. Um, my sister-in-law really got me on this. I had already kind of heard about it and thought, you know, I like it, whatever. And then one year we were at the beach and she was like, oh, do you need um, some sunscreen? I was like, yeah. She's like, do you want some makeup? And I was like, yeah, because I look scary. And she was like, here, put this on your face. And so we just like rubbed it all over our faces. Boom, went from a zero to a three. And then also was protected from the sun. But I also just like to wear this as makeup sometimes because that's been a really good like dewy moisturized formula for me. I bought this Fenty Lip Stunna Paint. No, Stunna Lip Paint. Reverse them. And I got it in Unbutton. This is my favorite color that she's come out with. This is like the color I want in a nude and the little applicator is so fun to me like I just I don't know I, this whole thing is fun this seems to be kind of like again right it's that lip paint so it's very um liquid -y. very very liquidy um but really pretty and it's like the perfect nude then I also of course had to get the gloss bomb in diamond milk because I have the gloss bomb in the other color. 
<laughs> in the neutral color. I have it in the mini though, in the neutral, because I got it in a set where it was the neutral gloss and then um, Hustle a Baby um, mini highlight. So this is just, I mean, come on. These glosses of hers are so, so comfortable. I'm kind of nervous about getting my doe foot applicator all goofed around. Um, it's down here if you can see it because it is all white and I like things to not be gross and dirty. Um, but yeah, that is just like, oh, there's so many sparkles and it's just really pretty and I liked it. So I bought it, <laughs> which is just apparently what I'm doing these days. If I like it, I buy it. Um, okay. I also got a teeny tiny Laura Mercier setting powder. Um, this is the translucent glow. So I've heard mixed reviews on this. I've heard good and I've heard bad. Some people are like, this is amazing for me. And then some people are like, no, it shows my texture in my skin. Ugh. I have the regular translucent setting powder and I really love it. It's great. I got some free beauty blender cleaner. Yay. Because mine are gross. <laughs> Okay, and these last three things I bought to do a video on and also because I have issues But mostly because I wanted to do a video kind of comparing all of these just to see like Which is better? So I bought all of these and they're basically all just like really shiny glitter powder moments <laughs> So I got one from Urban Decay called the Space Powder. No, not the, just Space Powder. And it's a shimmering powder for face and body. And it's really pretty. It looks like that. And it's really, really pretty. <laughs> Did I say that already? So let's just give her a quick swatch. This one is a powder and it feels really powdery. Um, yeah, really, really powdery. And it kind of doesn't melt into your skin, but it's really glittery and it's really pretty. And I thought maybe it could be a fun highlight. So this one I saw and then, well, I saw that one second. The first one that I saw was the Diamond Bomb in How Many Carrots. This is also for face and body and it's like, I was like, what's happening? First of all, this is so pretty. Hi, it's like eeny, eeny, a diamond. Um, and second of all, it is just like the softest. So here's what it looks like. There's a mirror in here and here it is. How many carrots, question mark, exclamation point. And we're just gonna, oh my God. It's like so soft, just so soft and it's beautiful beautiful and it's just so smooth it's just so smooth oh my god i like love this one so there's that one next to the space dust oh my god just like look i just like wiped it on my hand for like <laughs> yeah i'm gonna try to blend this one in as well just the way that i did the space one it's just like so soft. Like it's like the finest milled glitter in the world. Like you can't even feel it when you're like. This is the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Transformer. And this one's in teal aquamarine. There is a little mirror up here in this second little triangle up top. Um, and here's this little guy right here. And this is meant to be a face and eye highlighter. Um, so yeah, again, right, these are all I, no, these are all face and body specific, um, but this one says face and eye. So this one, I mean, I'm sure you could put it on your body, like why couldn't you? But this one specifically is eye safe, whereas I'm not 100% sure about the others. Okay, so this guy's a little chunko. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, rubbed it so hard. There we go. There we go. Okay. I just wanna have glitter all over me. <laughs> so there's that one. This one does have a lot more color underneath the glitter, 
Um, it's supposed to be like a teal aquamarine situation, but I think that just the glitter is the teal aquamarine situation. The Urban Decay one is probably the least exciting. So if you like glitter, but not too much, the Urban Decay Space Powder, great. If you like something that is more like with the color underneath it and it is like, has more opacity, then I would say the Kat Von D one, but the Fenty, if you are literally just wanting to be a diamond, yeah, <laughs> you should get that one. <laughs> okay, well, now that I've done two videos mashed into one because I got so excited. I didn't know what I was doing until I was in the middle of doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been spending all my money on. Um, my boyfriend was kind of horrified when I came home and had all this stuff and, you know, but it's my money. Thank you guys for watching and hanging out. If you enjoyed this, please like it down below. I appreciate all of your support so much. Um, leave me a comment down below on what you thought of these three. And also, um, let me know if you went to Sephora and found some other holiday collection-y bundle type situations that you bought for yourself or kindly for somebody else as a present and kind of what those looked like and maybe if you would like me to try them as well. Yeah, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.